guys, it's your girl Nika coming to you with another video and this video is in my Fobonichi and I use this classic size happy planner for it. It is also known as the Happy Nichi and I use this as the classic size because in the hobo world um, they have so many different sizes so I am using it as a tetra so that's what I'm using um, this particular classic happy notes for and and I use this for my social media planning so if you are inspired by my video want to be a part of my creative team click on that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you will not miss any more of my videos also give me a comment below because I love to hear from you and I always give certain people you know a shout out if they actually inspire me um, and motivate me to keep going also give me that thumbs up as well let's get to planning in my Hobonichi not Hobonichi but my Happy Nichi for the week of June 3rd through the 9th okay guys so I'm planning for June 3rd which is Monday through Sunday um, and that date is June 9th. So I had this, um, idea. And so I went searching on Pinterest to see if anybody else, um, actually did this. And of course, you know, it's nothing new under the sun. Like I said, <laughs> it's really not. So life by Whitney, um, actually had this design. So I'm going to change it up a little bit. And the only thing I'm doing is erasing my pencil marks. But um, I go in and use my um, stencil again. But I'm using the, what is it, Paper Mate Flare Medium um, pens just to go in with different colors. I decided to use different colors, um, you know, because actually I started off doing the five sticker challenge by Johanna, Johanna, and I'll link her her um, YouTube channel at the bottom in the description so that's what I ended up so this was going to be my five sticker challenge so I go in and I put the dates down and I go in and highlight you know highlight of course you know I love to highlight still using my same pens I'm using that bright pink so it's the paper made flare and it's the pink so I just go in and kind of like highlight just to give it some some little I guess I don't know uh, what was that word that girl used dimension I think that's what she used and I was like is that a that's the perfect word but I can't remember oh, you know as you get older uh, <laughs> I'm being serious it's like uh you try to remember stuff but hey whatever <laughs> just like y'all know I love planning I love to um take blank sheets of paper and I hope that y'all went to go see the collab that we did that I already upload so make sure you check that video out I'll link on the playlist up on top but um yeah so in the boxes on the other side i'm just putting goals my youtube and my instagram channel and basically i just um, track certain things in this particular social media um planner i list all the videos that i want to do in my monthly and then i just go in and make sure when i'm looking at my weekly view that i'm still doing the videos and um everything so i want to focus on your goals is in the middle I really want to really focus on the goals that I have I am really loving everything about this and at the top I said you got this and it says trust your gut and you have to trust your gut and I want to be different in my in my spreads I really do so that really motivated me to be different and of course, I thought I was finished with the spread. You're going to see me go in and say bye, put it back in, whatever. So, you'll see what's next. 
So I have decided that I want to do this. I want something similar to this game. Remember the fortune? Did anybody play this when they were in middle school um, or elementary? I did. My kids started, you know, um, doing the fortune. And, you know, we used to do it if we wanted to see if a boy like us and or um, how many kids we would have. We just did different. What is our favorite color? So it was just different things that as a um middle schooler or elementary we used to do that so i decided that i did not like the spread at all i had to do something different so i'm really just measuring out all of this so hopefully it comes out the way that i see it in my head so let's see where it goes I am going to speed through some of it, um, but I will give you the measurements of everything. I was doing the five sticker challenge, but I did not like my spread. It was not cute. It wasn't giving me life. So I had to do something different. And I thought about in my head that fortune game that I showed you previously. Um, I will give you the measurements. And right now I'm just counting out um, the lines. Um, the dots that to connect everything so basically you will see how everything comes out uh, hopefully it comes out like I kind of envision so it was not giving me life and you know if something's not giving me life and <laughs> not making me happy with my spread I have to change it so I had to come in to change my spread all together so i hope that y'all really like the changes and please let me know um you know how the end results look but i would show you step by step how to do this so i'm showing you you know um how to do this and i will leave the measurements um as well on the description please don't let me forget but if not, then y'all can actually screenshot um, the measurements that I'm going to show you. Because I kind of like sketch everything out for you. Um, and hopefully that y'all can actually see it. So I hopefully y'all really get the gist of what I'm trying to do. But um, I will show y'all right now what the measurements are so I know like on the left and right and the bottom are the same measurements so the long side is actually 25 dots down um, so it's equal on the two tops and the two bottoms the side the short is 10 and um, it's 18 across on each side so you will see that and then the one in the middle, I think it's 32, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So hopefully y'all can see that. But still, it's 32 on each side um, in the middle. And basically they connect. Um, if you need more information, then um, follow me on IG because I might do a IG story or something on that. So hopefully that kind of helps and clear everything up for you guys let me know so I'm getting ready to show you um, the lines and everything on here so hopefully um, you are enjoying it so far but just got my pencils and pens from scribbles by kp so that's the pencil that i'm using i love this mechanical pencil i wish that i would have ordered more she had a 40 percent off so it doesn't matter i'm gonna go ahead and if she's offering these pen pencils i'm definitely going to get more because i love this pencil so um you see that I was a little bit struggling on this part, but it all comes together because I miss a dot. So just be careful how everything connects in the inside. And basically what I'm doing, I'm duplicating my first spread. 
And the reason why I'm duplicating is because I wanted to give that same effect where I can pull up and you'll see. So, and so the next thing I will do, I will cut all of the shapes out and I'm not going to actually show you how to cut it. So, and I'm just showing you how I'm putting it on, um, my spread. And so that's how it's going to look. And really I used adhesive um, tape to glue everything down. I could have used um, washi tape, but I was like, nah, that's not going to work for me. So I just went ahead and just used my, my tape. And of course, you know, I have to bring in the fun florals. And you know, I did get the botanical sticker book. So I don't know um, if I should talk to y'all the whole time. Do y'all really want to hear my voice or y'all really just want to listen and look at the video? I don't know. But I was really struggling looking at my spread in my social media. So I had to really kind of like make it come to life. And I think that's what I'm doing now. I am making it come to life. So, Johanna, I'm so sorry that I did not do the five chicker. Five chicker. What is a five chicker? <laughs> this is funny. And I'm not going to go back. And I'm doing a voiceover. I'm just not going to go back and try to fix that. But anyway, the five sticker challenge. I did do it before. So, I don't know if that counts. If you're looking at this, I hope that you um, see this because in the beginning, I should have just did one video and then ended up the next day saying, oh, I didn't like this video. And that could have been a great idea. I'm thinking about it now, but oh, it is what it is. So I'm going to do another um, five sticker challenge. I just have to find my groove with it. Um, I don't know how that's going to work for me because I really thought it was going to be easy and it was, but I really just, I didn't like my spread. I'm sorry. I really didn't. I just had to make, um, something different. And so I was crocheting a pouch and, and I was like, I was asking my daughter, I was like, what is that game called? What was that game that we used to play? Because we used to play it as children. My kids started playing it. And she was like, oh, we call it Fortune. I don't remember what we called it back in the day. Maybe it was the same thing. I don't know. But I was like, yes, that's what I want to do. And I was still trying to figure out how can I keep the middle part down. But once I closed the book, it actually lays flat. So, of course, you know, I have to do the frame around with um, the fun floral book. And I actually got two of these books now because I had to go back and get, um, I think Joanne had one more and I was like, oh, I'm getting this. So anytime I see the fun florals, of course, I'm going to get it. I love the sticker book. If uh, Hopefully they come out with some more. But I'm thinking about ordering some clear sticker paper and making my own because I use them all the time. So, and then I do have like some clip arts for that I paid for that has flowers. So why am I not making mine? I don't know. I just like the ones that I, you know, I want to make things easier for me. So, hey. So I didn't know like if I wanted to um, just go around the border of each of the shapes, but I was like, that's just maybe overkill. So I really like how this came out. So I'm using Chrissy Ann um, design. I think that's what it's called. I love her little books that have the days of the weeks and and I thought this was an added touch for real remember in the fortune game you always had something written on the outside right so that's what I decided to do 
um, put the days of the week. Now for the weekend is for Friday, no, tomorrow Friday, Saturday and Sunday, because I'm using that as my weekend. Because I, when I was actually doing this, I realized I only had six days and not seven. But yeah, you always make things work. But I am loving how everything has come out. So basically what I decided as well is to put little quotes in each of the days of the week. And I thought maybe I didn't like it at first. Um, but I think it, it gives an added touch. So I also in the inside, I wanted to use these to do. So I'm putting the to do's there, what I need to do for each day for my YouTube, Instagram, um, channel. Um, I did start a Pinterest, um, I guess I won't call it channel page for, um, Anika's creative plans. So I have that, I have nothing on it yet. So I have to like go ahead and put my pictures and everything down. So I go in on Monday. I wanted to add big plans for Monday. Tuesday, I decided that, so there, here's the big plans. I have big plans for Monday. <laughs> so each day represent what I want to do and make sure. So Friday, I want to think happy, be happy. And I decided that I'm going to take this up because I didn't like it at all. So I put down best week ever and it will be a, the best week ever. First time really just getting it trying to get everything done and on Thursday I cut um stand out so I really want to stand out on Thursday I don't know what's coming out on Thursday I have to look back but on Wednesday I got today's plan and the weekend I want to focus on it says focus on you but basically it's just focusing on um the channel my Instagram page or whatever I need to do so I hopefully that you really like what I have done here um so I think it came out so much better so I decided that on the other side of it it wasn't cohesive I didn't like it so of course you know I added the flowers at the bottom and flowers one flower on the top of IG and at the bottom of YouTube so yes so hopefully you love this video. Give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think about my video. Also, if you are inspired, think about subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell so you won't miss a video. I love how it came out. I hope you